Hey friends, welcome to Your Beautiful Table, a website and a YouTube channel all about helping you make your tables beautiful. Today we're going to talk about which one is better, the Diptyque Tuberose Candle or the Trap Fresh Cut Tuberose Candle, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. If you're new to the channel, Your Beautiful Table is a website dedicated to helping you make your tabletops beautiful. We talk about flowers, tablescapes, tabletop decor. We talk about china, silverware, glassware, all kinds of fun things, and we talk about candles. And so today we're gonna talk about the Diptyque Tuberose Candle and the Trap Candle. So y'all, I am in the middle of a recording marathon. You can see I've got a lot of um, like candle stuff out that I've been talking about today. Um, and I've been burning the Bath & Body Works Rose Water and Ivy, which I love. It's like a candle that I keep in my candle stash because I just love it. Um, and I got my coffee and I've got some candles and so we're hanging out. Um, so, I just did a video about the Diptyque Tuberose. I got this Tuberose candle in a set of three, and uh, I'll link to that video down below, but this Diptyque set came with uh, Cypress Tuberose and Figue, which is the fig tree um, scent. It was a great way to get three different scents. The price point was about $100, which meant, you know, each one of these small 2.4 ounce votive candles was about $33 or so, you know, when you uh, divide it out. So, um, uh, you could go high, you know, and get the uh, tuberose candle from Diptyque. As I mentioned in that review, this is a, a true to the scent tuberose, which is a heady, sweet floral that's sultry and almost like jasmine. Uh, it's not a white floral uh, like gardenia, freesia, those kinds of things, but rather more sultry and kind of sexy and a little bit darker. Um, and uh, this candle performs really well. It is, um, you know, the size of it is small, <clears throat> uh, but it definitely has some room filling fragrance for smaller rooms. The performance was great. Um, the color uh, was this nice uh, creamy yellow color. And so as you would expect from the like a pinnacle premier luxury candle brand, the tuberose from Diptyque performed really well and I, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I was at a local um, florist and I saw the trap uh, fresh cut tuberose and uh, the trap candles come in these uh, small boxes. This is just a like votive size. It was two ounces and I, unfortunately I don't have a, a new one anymore but it did not come within inside a glass votive or anything like that. It just was inside of the box and it's like got a wax coating on this box. Now the two ounce candle from trap was $3.95. So you're looking at, you know, uh, $30, $4, $30, $4, $30, $4, $30, $4. And so I'll share with you all that, you know, this has a 30 hour, the Diptyque Tuberose has a 30 hour burn time, which is great, you know, so that means it's about a dollar an hour uh, to burn it. And honestly, I did not measure how long the Trap Tuberose Candle burned. And so I put the Trap Tuberose Candle Votive uh, down into a, this is a Kringle Candle uh, jar that I reused, you know, just for a votive. And I knew that it would like, um, melt down and sort of schmutz out like that. Um, but mainly I bought it to test the fragrance. So you can see the candle color is very similar. So there must be something about the two rose oil or the essential oils in the two rose. One wick in the uh, Diptyque, one wick in the Trap candle, very similar, very similar color. Now the, <sighs> those of us who have like cultivated, you know, a nice nose when we can smell the differences between uh, fragrances, can smell the difference between one and another. So I think for folks, like if you just like tuberose or if you just like a sweet floral, you may not, like if you buy one, you may not know the difference between one or another. I mean, it's not that big of a difference. This, I would say, is a softer, sweeter, more refined fragrance, the Diptyque uh, Tuberose. It is, um, uh, I don't want to say this is abrasive, but it is bright. 
the Subarus on this is bright. There is an essence of green in the, um, I actually want to hold up the trap candle box. There is an essence of green in the trap candle box that, in the trap candle that's not found in the Tuberose from Diptyque. Tuberose from Diptyque is more of a complex um, Tuberose scent. The Tuberose from Trap has, I would, what I would call like a green, almost like broken branches uh, scent. It's actually like, it's like got a fresher, um, a little bit brighter notes to it than the tuberose from Diptyque. So if you want sultry, authentic tuberose at a high price point, go with the Diptyque candle. If it does not matter to you, if you're looking for a tuberose scent and you really like tuberose, then I would go with the trap. I mean, y'all, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. I love a luxury candle, but if you're a tuberose fan, this trap candle at uh, $4 uh, at, a, at a votive is like pretty phenomenal. So of course, the this presentation doesn't look great, right? It tunneled, it melted, you know, it was in a nice colander, like colander, column, little uh, column, and it blobbed out and I expected that and that's why I put it in, in this container. Um, but you can find a votive container to, to put it in just like this. So uh, Trap does make larger candles and you'll be able to find them that do come in um, votives. And so that might be something if you uh, really like it, get a few different uh, fragrances from Trap, uh, mix and match, um, and then see if you like the tuberose. Um, just this will be a great sample size. I mean, think about it. This one is like four dollars, and this one is like thirty-three dollars. And so you could get so many different samples and try the whole uh, line of trap fragrances for one of these from Diptyque. Um, but you know, the thing about Diptyque is like so great, and um, the performance was really great on this candle too. You can see it burned down, didn't tunnel or anything, and so. You know, there's like trade-offs. So, but if you are looking for a great tuberous fragrance, then you should definitely check out the Trap Fragrances uh, Tuberose. So I also had the Trap Bob's Flower Shop, which was a fun. Y'all know that I love uh, a floral fragrance, especially like a greenhouse or flower shop fragrance. And someone recommended Bob's Flower Shop. I will link to an unpack, like an unpackaging video. Yeah, uh, unboxing video, that's what I wanna say. Um, below, uh, where I opened these up. I mean, it was months ago. Um, I burned them both and I have the tuberose left. My partner, I was in his closet a couple of days ago and saw that it was broke. Like the other votive where I used Bob's flower shop uh, had been broken was in his closet. I'm like, what happened? So I'm not exactly sure what happened. I was looking for the votive today, but apparently he threw it out. Um, so something something happened there. But the Bob's Flower Shop was a lovely um, candle too. Let me see if the box still smells. So I was looking for a greenhouse uh, fragrance. Uh, and so I, Bob's Flower Shop uh, just didn't knock me out. It was, it was totally nice. It was not something that um, I would buy again because I think that there are other greenhouse um, and flower shop fragrances that I like better. Um, but it was a nice one to try. And the performance of that Bob's Flower Shop votive was similar to this. Um, you know, it just melts it out. And that's what's going to happen in these small, like, um, votives that don't have uh, a container. So, y'all, again, $30, $4. So you decide. So, you know, but the fragrance is definitely head to head and the performance is pretty good too. So friends, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, you may not know this. We have a newsletter and that's the way I use uh, to reach out to you for drawing. So every, um, when the channel hits different milestones, I'll do a drawing. It's time for me to do one now. Sign up for the newsletter below. I promise I won't spam you. I haven't sent a newsletter in a long, long time. So, um, jump in there and, um, sign up for the newsletter. Hey friends, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.